Hey there, you've played a Legend of Zelda game before, haven't you? I mean, you've at least played Breath of the Wild, right? I am going to assume you have, because let's be honest, you have to be living under a rock if you haven't played the hugely popular Breath of the Wild, and I mean a huge, giant, massive rock. If you have indeed played a Zelda title before, then you more than likely have seen this, and know a little bit about this golden triangle thingy. Ah, golden. So like most, you probably believe that this small shiny object is the main reason for Link's many victories over the infamous Ganon and human form Ganondorf. If you don't know about the Triforce and the evil Ganondorf, then do not worry, as I have you covered. I'll be going over the origins of the Triforce and its importance to Link, and also why I believe that the Triforce is not the reason for Link stopping the mighty Ganon throughout his many journeys. Behold, the Triforce. Is there anything more iconic in Zelda than this golden triangle? No, not you, get out of here. So, the Triforce, also known as the ultimate power, a sacred golden relic, a powerful relic created by the three golden goddesses, Din, the goddess of power, Nehru, the goddess of wisdom, and Feral, the goddess of courage. These are the chief gods and creators of the realm that becomes the kingdom of Hyrule. When they were finished with the creation of Hyrule, a goddess known as Hylia was tasked with the protection of the newly created world and the protection of the powerful golden relic. After Hylia ceased to exist as a goddess, the Triforce is then left in the hands and protection of the royal family of Hyrule, the Sages and the Sheikah. The Triforce itself is consisted of three separate triangles, a piece for power, a piece for courage and a piece for wisdom. Funnily enough, Although the gods created the relic, they are unable to use it, which makes zero sense to me. It's like inventing something, I don't know, say a hoover, and yet you have no idea how to use it. Silly, right? But it's possible that the combined magic from all three goddesses is the very reason that makes it useless to them. I mean, it is Nintendo after all. Now it is believed that the Triforce is the ultimate source of power in the Legend of Zelda series. It somewhat serves as a kind of balance that weighs out the three forces, power, wisdom and courage. I don't know about you guys, but I know exactly what piece I would take from the Triforce. It has to be power. The sheer power that Ganondorf has while using the piece is scary. The things he is able to do when he possesses the power of the Triforce is incredible. Yes, you can argue that Link has the power of courage, and it gives him the added bravery that most wouldn't have at his age, and it's also said to grant him protection from magic, which would make Ganondorf's magic pointless against him. But for the most part, Ganondorf doesn't use his magic. He engages in sword-to-sword -sword combat with Link. Ganondorf is a fully grown adult, and Link is a mere child. Link possesses very little sword fighting skills, whereas Ganondorf is a warrior an evil usurper with no regret for the terrible things he has done and continues to do. He was once a leader of the Gerudu tribe, the masterful skilled female warriors that live in the rough barren desert. Ganondorf has seen more than Link and has experienced more than Link, with some intense experience with fighting and is clearly a battle-hardened warrior. Now the Triforce of Wisdom is interesting. It apparently leads its holder to make the right decisions, making them wiser than any mortal the essence of Nehru grants the wielder, the Triforce of Wisdom's bearer, a myriad of mystical abilities as well as divine wisdom. But I must point out that Princess Zelda bears this piece of the Triforce, though it doesn't necessarily help Link in the way that the Triforce of Courage does, but Zelda's assistance to Link does. Her wisdom from the Triforce helps to constantly guide Link in the right directions. So I guess it would kind of seem like Link has two pieces of the Triforce. Well in a way, yes. So does that mean Link wins anyway because he holds two pieces while Ganondorf only holds one? Well, good try, but no. The Triforce of Power still outplays the other two pieces by miles. That's not to say that the Courage and Wisdom pieces are not powerful and should be forgotten about. There is a reason Ganondorf continues to try and stop Link and find Zelda. He knows that Zelda holds the Triforce of Wisdom and he wishes to take it from her. He also seeks to obtain the piece that Link holds for it is said that a complete Triforce will grant the wish of the person who obtains it, regardless of the intentions of the owner. Good or bad, their wish will come true, and only when the owner is deceased will the wish be lifted. Such a person like Ganondorf cannot be allowed to obtain such a powerful relic. The Triforce ultimately determines Hyrule's destiny. If a person with a righteous heart claims the Triforce, Hyrule would enter a golden age of peace and prosperity. But if a person with a wicked heart captures the Triforce, the kingdom will inevitably fall into an age of darkness. 
However, it is prophesied that if one with an evil heart were to claim the Triforce, a hero is destined to stand against him. So our conclusion is that the Triforce is indeed powerful, as well as incredibly rare and clearly very important to the creation and people of Hyrule. But is it the reason for Link beating Ganon all those times? I'm not convinced. I believe there is a more iconic item that plays a role in the stopping of Ganondorf, an item that is possibly more well known, an item that glows with the power to repel evil, the Master Sword, a weapon Link must obtain to stop the very evil that is Ganondorf. The very origins of the Master Sword start at the beginning of the Zelda timeline with Skyward Sword. The Goddess Sword, which was created by the Goddess Hylia, is the very sword we all now know as the Master Sword. The Goddess Sword was transformed into the Master Sword. Phi, Link's spirit companion in the game, bathed the sword in three sacred flames left by the Golden Goddesses, Feral, Nehru and Din. These flames then enhanced the sword. Din's flame in particular imbued the sword with the power to repel evil a power augmented after the sword received the blessing of Zelda and therefore transforming the sword into the popular well-known True Master Sword. So the blade was created by a goddess, like the Triforce. It was also enhanced by sacred flames by the creators of the Triforce and was also blessed by Princess Zelda, the holder of the Triforce of Wisdom. So it's fair to say both are equally powerful. But we are not denying the power of the Triforce, but instead denying the reason that the Triforce is the only way Link is able to defeat Ganondorf. Taking a look at the many adventures Link has faced, he is always equipped with the blade that repels evil when it comes to dealing with Ganondorf. The same cannot be said for the Triforce. Its very origins is non-existent in Breath of the Wild. It's not directly linked to the plot, but the Triforce symbol is dotted around areas of Hyrule, such as on the front of the Hylian shield. The Master Sword, on the other hand, is physically in the game and can be used to beat Ganon without the assistance of the Triforce. This makes me believe that due to the many enhancements that the Master Sword underwent when it was originally the Goddess Sword, it left a somewhat lurking power that always helps the hero defeat Ganondorf even when he doesn't have the sword equipped or even obtained. This could explain how Link is able to defeat Ganon in Ocarina of Time when the Master Sword is trapped behind a flame barrier. Yes, yes I know, he has the Triforce of Courage in this game, but maybe the sword was oozing out power which made it possible for Link to match Ganon's strength. Combine courage with the power of the Master Sword plus Zelda's power of wisdom and you have a godly hero that easily beats a godly foe. So, while I do believe the Triforce is important for Link's victories over Ganondorf, I don't believe it to be necessary. The added bravery and resistance to magic would come in handy. But the sheer power the Master Sword possesses, combined with the prophecy that a hero will rise to take on an evil-hearted person who seeks the Triforce, is enough to win. It's without question the Master Sword that truly helps Link to defeat Ganondorf. The Goddess Hylia, the protector of Hyrule, created the sword for the very reason to help protect the people when she couldn't. To protect the people from an evil person who seeks the Triforce. The Master Sword was literally created to match the Triforce fragment of power because courage and wisdom stand little to no chance of winning against the magnitude of raw power that the wielder will possess. So in order to combat this, an equally powerful artifact had to have been created to even out the odds. This is just my theory. Do you believe the Triforce is more important than the Master Sword? If so, let me know down below. Also drop a comment about any theories that you managed to come up with. Also why not hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a future upload. If you could thumbs up the video, that would be really great. And for general chit chat, be sure to follow me over on Twitter, the link will be in the description down below. And as always, I appreciate your time and I hope you enjoyed the video.